Today we're going to show you how we load our Mini onto our tow dolly. Now every tow dolly is going to be different, but this will at least give you an idea of what's involved in loading. First thing we got to do is get the ramps ready. I just, when I'm transporting them, I have them tied on with a tie down and a bungee cord just to make sure they're extra secure. Just going to set those in place. And with our vehicle, we have a fairly narrow car, so I know I just need to have them in here. And once you've loaded it a couple times, you'll start to see where your tire print is, so it'll give you even more of an idea. The most important thing with loading the car on the dolly found is to get a nice, long, straight space so you can be completely straight as you come up onto the dolly because you'll eventually want the tires to be completely perpendicular to the end rail. So, We'll see if we get it on first try this time. You can tell it's not all the way against the rail. You'll also notice that sometimes the, the dolly moves underneath the pressure of the, of the car. One trick that I've learned is I pull the emergency brake up and so the back tires aren't moving and then I let the engine pull forward a little bit. Definitely want the tires right up against the rail, which I think I've achieved now. So I'll be able to turn off the vehicle, leaving the emergency brake on, and then I'll double check. This one's really good. This tire has a gap and you really want those to be as close to being consistent as possible so this is why you need to be as perfectly straight as you can sometimes I get it right on the first try and sometimes I don't but I'll give it another go and see if I can line that up Let's try this again That one felt good. Let's uh, see if the tires are lined up right against the rails. Let's have a look. Driver's side rail, yep, right there. That's really good. Now we'll go have a look at the passenger side. Yeah, there's a tiny little gap. That's totally fine having that little bit of a gap because I found that if you just have a small gap, you can use the ratchets to bring it a little closer. If it was a larger gap, I'd have to back it off and give it another try. Let's get the straps. These are the straps that our tow dolly uses. Other tow dollies, of course, be a little bit different. One thing that I've found to be very beneficial is I put a P for the passenger side and a D for the driver's side and an arrow showing which way is the forward side of the strap. That makes it really easy when you pull it out of the box. right over the top. These just clip into these. There's one here and then one back inside. And then I pull this up, lift it up tight so it's at its, where its limit. And then I pull, there's one more on the front. And then this loose strap just goes through this loop and pulls down. And then we get a, and here's the ratchets. You want nice strong ratchets. When we first got this, the ratchets were really old and rickety and it made a huge difference getting some new ones. Um, it's a pretty extreme environment back here and behind this vehicle, so um, probably have to replace these again before too long. So. 
this strap slides right through this slot in this ratchet. And I usually give it a nice little tug, get it tightened. You release the latch with this. And then it just tightens a little bit at a time. And you'll try and watch the tire will get a little closer as I squeeze it down. Now it's touching really well. And so how do I know when it's enough? When do I tighten enough? You want these really tight on here. Um, first, I'll bring it forward onto the, onto the rail, but then I'll tighten it and I'll tighten it until I start to see the tire squish a little bit. Um, that way I you know it's really good and snug. Um, Cause you'll feel these are tight long before you'll see that. But I found if I don't get it good and snug to where it starts to squish the tire, it's just not enough. Now let's go do the other side. On this side, I have the D for driver's side, and again with the arrow showing which side it goes forward. I'll just slip that over the top of the tire. Same as the other side, two hooks go into two loops. Lift it up nice and tight. Try to keep this around the center, the top of the tire. And the third hook. Here's the other ratchet, we'll hook that onto the loop, and then the strap, like the other side, just slides through this little groove in the ratchet. I usually give it a nice tug to get it started and tight. And you'll notice when I'm tightening this rest, this starts getting tighter, but you see there's no squish to the tire at all yet. Yeah. Since this strap is longer, what I usually do is I just tuck it through the handle of this and then through this loop. That way it's not dragging, getting in the way. One of the downsides of our setup of these straps, again, not all straps are this way, but these have these rings here and they will often end up touching against the, reel, the wheel and scuffing it up pretty good. Um, our wheels were already fairly scuffed up when we started on the, this road. They've gotten quite a bit worse from these rings, but just be mindful of that you might be a way you could stick a little piece of foam in between there or uh, if your straps are the same way, but just be mindful of that if you especially you have some really expensive wheels on your car. Okay, we've got all the straps on both sides. This car is squished down nice and secure, but we like to have an extra security measure and that's with safety chains, just in case something went wrong with the straps and they came loose, safety chain will still keep things attached. What I do with this is I reach down underneath and I feed this chain up underneath and through the suspension arms 
Some people like to do it through the frame, but this is plenty adequate for me. Once I feed it through there, it wraps around. I don't know if you can see the hook here. These are simple, simple little things from Home Depot, little carabiner, and it just screws on. These safety chains is just a nice little second security just in case something went wrong with the straps. And we did have that happen once. So I would definitely recommend having safety chains for your vehicle. Chain number two. confident the vehicle is nice and secure now with the toe straps and the safety chains so it's time to pick up the ramps this tow dolly is really handy how it's got little rails at the front for the for these ramps to set in the newer versions of this uses a different type of ramp but they also have a way to secure nice and nice and easy. Once the ramp's on here, I get my toe tie down out. And I, uh, I use this little bungee cord to keep the straps from getting loose. Then I have a second bungee cord I use to, just to be extra careful. Another little tip, I like leaving some Lysol wipes in my little box of toe down, tie down stuff because my hands get a little dirty. I like to wipe them off before I go jump back in the, inside the car to finish the job. Be sure to check your owner's manual and your manufacturer of your car to see what your vehicle's recommendations are. But for our car with this dolly, what we need to do is we need to start the car so that the steering column is unlocked and then I turn off the ignition leaving the key in because that with our car the steering column still stays unlocked and as far as the transmission with a tow dolly as long as the drive wheels are off the ground on the dolly it doesn't really matter if it's an automatic or manual transmission ours is a manual transmission and i usually just leave it in neutral but it, you probably could leave it in gear that's just the way we do it and very importantly you got to take the emergency brake off you put this on there to hold it still while you're loading, but you definitely need this released before you take off. We've seen it before, people dragging them around. It's really obvious on the dirt because it makes dust all flying around, but on pavement it's not so obvious and a big coach often won't even know that's back there. The next thing you know, your brakes are burned up, your tires are burned up, it's a bad deal. So make sure you take the emergency brake off. I actually will stop again, usually, before I leave the campground and just double check one more time just uh, just to make sure. With practice, it can come together pretty quick. I can often load this in less than 10 minutes and we're on the road. That's about it. Hope you found this video helpful. Best of everything to you. Safe travels. See you on the road.